uh, somebody like chastised him for eating an undercooked burger in a restaurant. Or so he says, anyway. Yeah. That sounds very real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seemed very real <laughs> as I was reading it. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about slavery? That's <laughs> that's the part oh, that God. comes up after that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is pretty a wild. really, it's a pretty floridly written passage. Do you, um, yeah. Do you think Joseph Dobrian likes Blackadder? I think he would <laughs> love some real life friends to watch Blackadder with him was my impression <laughs> from reading yeah. He is kind of uh, kind of an Anglophile. I'm sure he's w- spent a lot of time watching PBS, uh, BBC blocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's you know fantasizing about how he has gout, and you know back in the day, this means I'm like royalty or whatever. And he's he's picturing like a fancy <laughs> painting of like a a Lord Fiddle Faddle, as he refers to the character, and oh. Lord Fiddle Faddle is a. Uh, pouring over his ledgers, listing the revenues from his slave ships, his plantations in the New World, and his interests in the British East India Company. So, of course, in Joseph's fantasy of a a wealthy person of history, of course, slavery is part of the fantasy. (laughs) That's the most important part. Actually, you know what? I, I correct myself. I think the most important part is in the background or something of this painting Lord Fiddle Faddle has like a uh, a butler or something, and the butler is examining <laughs> the contents of his lordship's chamber pot. Yeah, a chamber pot <laughs> being what uh, what they would piss and shit in. <laughs> it's a bucket. <laughs> I th- I think the fancy bucket. He's not a butler. He's like an early doctor because he's in black. Oh, is that what that's he, supposed to be? He has lancets <laughs> and other surgical instruments bulging out of his pockets and a book labeled physic. Okay. And, I'm glad yeah, that Stella is yeah. a closer reader than me. Oh, I read this passage with great interest. <laughs> it does make more sense for a doctor to be examining his waist. <laughs> so there, there are two people in the room besides Mr. Fiddle Faddle. There, 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 there is oh. the yeah. There is the um. How does he describe him? Uh, Baldrick. Um, there's a Baldrick character for you Blackadder <laughs> fans, and oh, then there's also yes. the yeah. You're right. A silly distinction to make. Um, okay, so uh, I, yeah, I was conflating the servant and the doctor. Yep. I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also three dogs <laughs> in this scene. <laughs> so as you like, dear <laughs> listeners, you can tell. Just by the number of characters in, in this, like, this is a fantasy that Joe visits often. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, Joe is a lot more interested in, like, fiction and creative writing than he is in this, these, like, opinion pieces. Because he clearly put more thought and effort into this one scene of, like, a fake painting about gout than he has in most of the rest of this book. Mm-hmm. 